Welcome back to Bell to Bell. I'm your host, Jimmy D. Jones, here with my partner, Clark Jr. Jr. Hi. Thanks, Clark. The young upstart James Fatal made his debut on NXT last night, and what a debut it was. Able to put away Hideo Itami, Fatal did not stop there as he proceeded to, quote, blow his head off with the dangerous lariat of his he calls closure. If that doesn't put Fatal's name in the collective mind of the WWE universe, I'm not too sure what will. Well, I really like his hair, Jimothy. Thanks, Clark. Next up on Bell to Bell, we will talk Back on the old grind, we're back at the NXT arena, people. Coming off a big debut for James Fatal. Welcome back to WWE 2K18, my career. And if you guys have been enjoying the series so far, remember to leave that thumbs up. Let's go talk to you. I see you looking over here. You're always just sitting over here. You waiting for James Fatal to come into the parking lot? It's looking like you are, Cheryl. Good luck out there tonight. Are you, are you even sure what I'm doing? Would you like me to tell you? Nah, I guess not. Let's go talk to the security guard over here. This construction worker. What's going on over here? Well, you're not gonna. I, I can't go on the forklift. You're not gonna let me. Sorry, you're not allowed back here. Jeff. How are I'm okay. Can you look at me real quick, Jeff? <laughs> I am in essentially underwear, oiled up to the gills, and you're gonna tell me I'm not allowed back here? <laughs> My man. Nonetheless, let's go see what's going on in the rest of the arena tonight. It looks like Albert's not posted up here in the corner. That's usually where Albert is. Oh, Triple H! How you doing, man? It's a nice beard. If you don't let me handle my business, you're gonna see a side of me that you won't like. I'm so I mean, I'm sorry. I thought you were just on the Twitter machine. I didn't know like what was going on there. I didn't mean to, to interrupt anything. Are you looking to scalp some more talent from Evolve or PWG? Is Stephanie in here? No, Stephanie, where is Stephanie? You know, I'm not gonna ask you because you said you want to be left alone and that's just okay and I won't let you do that. No way, Jose. Move, move, move! No way, Jose. How you doing, man? Not picking favorites, but I got oh no over you for this match. Hey, I'm just playing the odds. He's a vet and you're new. Well, you're wrong. And you know what? I kind of want to beat you up now. I don't know why, this feeling just came over my body. It's a tingling sensation. I just want to beat you up. Baron, can you give me what I want? Can I get this match with No Way Jose? If we can't do it right now, we can do it in the future. That's fine. Match against one of our best guys. Up for it? Don't answer. Just do it. Need to show everyone that you can perform in the ring. Or else you won't survive. Ring is where everything comes together. Don't have that, don't have anything. Show them what you got in you. All right, man. Well, I guess I face Cassius Ono. You know, No Way Jose's already pretty much guaranteed me that I'm going to be doing that because <laughs> you don't talk crap about me and get away with it. All right. Well, if Baron Blade There's wants no me to prove something in the ring, I have no problem doing that. I guess uh, attacking a day with Tommy wasn't that enough last week. Like Baron Blade feels like I need to prove idea. more. So Cassius yeah. Ono versus is what is good. going on? Ref, make sure he ain't coming from there. Watch out! Rude's got the pump handle hooked. Bobby Rude with the interference! Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed. Baron, did you just see what happened? Is this how we're running ship around here, Baron? Yeah, that can happen at times. Jeez, that hurt. Looks like. Ouch. I guess that's why he's the reigning champion, huh? Big lesson for you. If you're on top of your game every night without fail, you can't beat him. I don't know about all that. Bobby is going down. He's going to go down hard. Maybe. He will. Is it from you talking to old weather producer me, Willie? What? Is that even a sin? Did my man just have a stroke? What? <laughs> what is this? Lesson learned, then? Lesson learned. Okay, file it away. Keep it accessible. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep it accessible. Don't you worry about that. After all this time, I thought it was going to be No Way Jose or Cassius Ono or anyone, Hideo Itami even, that was going to prove an issue for me in NXT so far, but I guess it's Bobby Roode. 
and what better way to prove myself to Baron Blade in the WWE Universe than to win the NXT Championship from Bobby Roode. That sounds like a plan. What's up, Paul? How you doing, man? Just a bit of a warning. Roode can be annoying, but he has a chant for a reason. He can end your career before it started. Hmm. We'll see about that. I'm pretty dangerous myself. Check me out, man. You might want to manage me one day. I promise you, you'll enjoy it. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next week and see what goes down with Bobby Roode here. Because we're winning that NXT Championship, baby. That's going to be ours. Oh, Eric Young's backstage. How you doing, man? What's going on? I talked to your boy Killian Dane the other week. I thought you did great last week. It was just one week. You can turn things around in, fa in your favor this week. Well, thank you, Eric. You're a fan favorite, I see. That's, uh, that's quite interesting. I appreciate the advice there. As a matter of fact, let's take that advice and head on over to Baron Blade in the production area. Gorilla Position is what it's actually called, game, so you want to you wanna help out a little bit? Oh, look at this guy. What are you doing back here? Look, you're the rookie. No one expects you to outshine Bobby. Just make sure you bring in some ratings on the way to your match. Really, Ciampa? No faith. Okay. Well, I gotta prove something to the universe. I gotta prove something to Baron Blade, and I gotta prove something to everybody in the back, too. Except for Eric Young, he likes me. He's a good guy. Eric, I like you. All right, Baron, what's going down this week? So, pumped week before NXT TakeOver. Must be excited. This is your final chance to win over the WWE Universe. Don't waste your TV time, got it? Whatever you do, make it count. I will. Good. <laughs> Let's take a peek see at this whiteboard and see what we can do here. We can have our one-on-one -on -one match with Bobby Roode. We can do a promo. Or we can have James Fatal versus Roderick Strong. I definitely don't think I want to go in the ring with Bobby Roode just yet. I think the best thing we can do here is to cut a promo. Our first promo. Let's do it. You know this guy came prepared. Let's see what he has to say. For my own satisfaction, it's critical that I take Bobby Roode down. I felt this way before I arrived, and now that I'm here at NXT, I feel him more and more. He's had this moment in the sun. He struts, he flexes, he tries to enthrall the audience with fanciful antics, and to an extent, it works. But it's time to end that. Ultimately, I need to show myself that this is something I can do. I need to know that I can be the one to do it. To know that I'm strong enough and fast enough, that I'm good enough. There's nothing wrong with theory, but unless it's tested, there's nobody to know if it's solid or even true. I'll find out. Bobby is one of many stepping stones on my path. He's probably no bigger or smaller than any other, but he's the next one laying before me. If I want to keep walking, he is the next step. There's no way around this. And if I'm being completely forthright with you, I wouldn't have it any other way. Basically, if I don't learn what limits I actually have, there's no way I can find a way to surpass them. Evolve or die. That's the philosophy. I need to know where the line in the sand is so I can redraw it further away. That's a question I've always sought an answer to. Where do I end and future me begins? It's actually not Bobby standing in my way. It's me. Well, I'm intending to break through all those doubts and weaknesses and reach the person I can be. He's inside me and probably not all that deep. And I have to dive in there and pull him out into the daylight. And that's something only I can do. I don't think you can be any more clear than that. That's about as good as it gets. The WWE Universe is behind that statement. No doubt about that. As a matter of fact, let me go talk to Cassius Ono back here. We had a little bit of a thing going on last week. I'm just trying to figure out where we stand right now. How you doing back here? You on your phone? How are things going? I like what you're doing out there. I think you're going to give Rude a run for his money. See, Cassius, I knew we were good. I'm glad that we cleared that up. I'm glad that we cleared that up, buddy. All right. Actually, let's check the locker room and see if anyone's hanging out in here. Hello? 
Nobody. Okay. And it starts playing Cash and So Knows music. Albert, what'd you think of that promo, man? You thought that was pretty good, eh? I have some other things to handle. Let's talk later. All right. Well, that was rude, but okay. Speaking of rude, that's who I got to beat to win this NXT championship. I'm sure you have something to say when I do that, huh? You ain't got time for no champions, huh? You only got time for champions, uh-huh. I don't think I've got you pegged, Albert. All right, guys. Let's check out the next week of NXT. Are you telling me that you just hang out out here in the mask? <laughs> hey, man, can you even see me in that thing? I like donuts. So what? I like to snack on cheese. Mate, what? <laughs> Maybe my diet ain't the healthiest, but I am enjoying free catering at every event. Save some money and eat whatever you want. Who cares if you gain some extra weight? You know, now, now the helmet just seems fucked up. I'm going to talk to you later. I eat. <laughs> Enjoy your cheese. Crazy week last week, huh? Yeah, it was uh, something. Up to you how you want to respond to what's been going down. Check out the match card. Let me know what you're thinking. All right, let's see what we can get done. We only have one more week until the pay-per-view. NXT TakeOver, baby. Our first pay-per-view. Hopefully, we can grab that title shot from Bobby Roode. Let's check this match card. A promo. Cassius Ono or Bobby Roode. You know what? After speaking with Cassius Ono last week, I think I want to do this one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, wait a minute. I misread. It's Bobby Roode versus Cassius Ono. That's even better. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, weighing in at 235 pounds. Hey, Bobby! Champion. Come on, Boom! Now hold on, Cole. Let's just see where this oh, goes. Oh, no, you don't, STO! See this championship? It will be mine. But for now, you can have it. And let me tell you, that thing is heavy. We've seen this before. It's just a matter of time now. What a maneuver. Things just went from bad to worse for Bobby Roode. Not bad. Okay, not bad at all tonight. Thinking the WWE Universe is looking forward to what you are bringing. At your NXT title match at TakeOver, and also the spirit you have above you, about you, I think they get it. I can't wait to stomp Bobby. Honestly, it's stomping Bobby that matters to me now. He thinks he's amazing. I want to show him he isn't. It is kind of crazy. Did make NXT champion, didn't he? Can't really knock that. There's something about him that inspires a lust for stomping. I'd do it out in the parking lot, but it's great. We'll have a match instead. Have fun, I guess? <laughs> Whatever your reason, make it a good match. That's what I value as important. If by good match you mean me beating the hell out of Bobby Roode and winning the NXT Championship, then yes, we will have a fantastic match just for you, buddy. Hey, my man, Mr. Suit. Excited to see you in the... Well, Chris, I was just in the ring. I feel like you don't even pay attention to people under your payroll, Chris. I feel like you should be paying more attention. Let's see if anyone's in the locker room tonight. Hey, Hideo and Cassius. What's up, my man? Way to go out there. One thing is for sure. I'll be watching your match at TakeOver. See, we I feel like Cassius, you would be a good fit for the Dark Society. I feel like I feel like you would you, you would definitely be a good fit. Hideo, how you doing, man? I ain't talked to you in a while. I heard you think you really have a chance in the upcoming pay-per-view. That's the funniest thing I've heard all week. Keep the jokes coming. You seem like a real clown. And see, that's why I beat your ass. And that's why I beat your ass. I'm going to walk out this room right now before I get a lawsuit against me. So you go ahead and you keep enjoying what you're doing, man. Because it's about to be a shooting back here. All right, baby. Let's do this. NXT TakeOver. We come into the NXT TakeOver pay-per-view and Bobby Roode's entrance music is on. Well, that is definitely something. What's up, Johnny? You on the card tonight? Your moves in the ring are looking sleek. We gotta hit up training together sometime. I pump, you pump, we all pump. You trying to get a pump with me, brother? That's something I could do. Hit my line. I got loud. Meet you out in Amish. We can we can really, you know what I'm saying? Really hit some pumps. Albert, you know I would talk to you last time I talked to you disrespecting me, and I'm not about that. 
What's going on over here, man? Who's this guy? What's up, man? Who is this? Who are you? Chris Young? James Falcon told me about you, brother. What's up? You get that title, and I'll be one of the first to congratulate you. Chris, it's good to see you this year, buddy. Now let's head on over to Baron Blade and see what's going down at the NXT TakeOver pay-per-view. What's up, man? I got that title match right. Made it this far. Ready to go a little further? Better be. This is your first title shot. Get angry! Or something. How do you feel? I feel thrilled. Thrilled to be here already. This is the real deal. That's the spirit. Go throw everyone with that attitude. Squander this opportunity, and it's not me that'll yell at you. That'd be easy. Yelling at yourself is what you'll do over and over until you're mad. So don't do that. Got it. Don't go mad. Right. Avoid that. Seen what the NXT title has done for guys like Finn, KO, Nakamura, haven't you? Could have that too if you win. I was born to do this. That's pretty specific, but hey, go with that. And don't mess up. Win the NXT championship. Cannot win by DQ or count out. Get a match rating of three stars. Let's do it, baby. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you live from ringside, where I can barely hear myself think. I've been doing this a while, so trust me when I say this has got instant classic written all over it. Stay tuned. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. we get started here, let me remind everybody that the title is on the line here tonight. Yeah, but that's just a mere formality. The way I see it, there is no way we crown a new champion tonight. I'll make a bold prediction here, guys, and say that we will be crowning a new champion at the end of this one. Bite your tongue, Cole. There's no way the champ is walking out of here without his title. It's just not happening. Here we go, guys. The championship is on the line here in this one. And I'll tell you, Cole, the champion has never looked more dominant than right here, right now. Introducing the challenger from Kill Devil Hill, North Carolina, Weighing in at 260 pounds, James. Introducing the champion from Toronto, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the NXT champion, Bobby Roode. Put down that remote, stay a while.
And our match with Bobby Roode is underway, and I'm going straight for them legs. I have a point to prove to the WWE Universe of Baron Blade to all the boys in the back. To myself. And I'm walking out of this takeover pay-per-view as NXT champion, Bobby. You can count on that much. Bobby going to try to kick me on the floor. Oh, no. He's going to start that ground offense. Oh, but we were able to reverse. I think all that road to glory practice got us up a little bit. We have to also get at least three stars in this match, so we have to keep that in mind, too. Yeah, Here we go. Gut punch, kick, that back fist. Bobby again reverses that back way. fist. I don't know what it is about that back fist, but Bobby's able to reverse it every single time. Off the rope. <gasps> Yo! I'm just too strong. Bobby didn't know what to do there. He never seen someone. He's never seen someone of this stature before. This beast. And the crowd is digging this too. All right, Mr. Bob, if that is your real name. I'm going to go on that second rope. Oh, he was able to get out of the way. Kind of hurt my knee there a little bit. That's not good. I think Bobby's going to be targeting the knee here. Oh, we're going to fight from the floor. And we were able to catch him. Oh, here we go. The trifecta. Got him. Put him up. That's what I'm talking about. That's primo right there. Bobby, you going to fight back, man? And a knee to the nose. Just a straight up knee. The high knee. I'm going to try to go for that back fist again. Oh, we hit it. Now off the ropes. What an Just kicking move. him straight in the face. Here we go. Bobby Roode. You are getting exposed <laughs> right now, Bobby. I've ever seen him in. Bobby, you are getting exposed right now. Under. Oh, Fatality. He is a lethal weapon. Here's a chance to win Bobby, this. you are getting exposed right now. This is embarrassing. Again, trifecta Irish curse. Looks like you were all talk, Bobby. As I proved in my first week, actions speak louder than words, Bobby. There's that back fist connecting all the way. No, I'm not done with you. There we go. Power bomb. I'm getting all my stuff in tonight, Bobby. I'm getting it all in, baby. I got a lot. Don't you worry about that. This could be it for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. Oh, no, no, no. You thought for a second I was going to the top rope. No, no, no. Oh, damn, that knee from earlier. Not able, not able to make the distance. Here we go. A third Irish curse. The trifecta trifecta. This man's not ready for this. He's not ready for the trifecta trifecta. What's good, Bobby? Doesn't show any signs of Just stay there, down. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, it's looking like it's all over for you, buddy. Wow, Bobby Root is being it looks like now. it is all over for you, Bobby. There's the this man gave up. This man gave up. This He's is a thrashing. And now it's time to finish this with some closure. At least I give you that. The champs in a real bad plate. It could be over here. One, two, three. New champion. Like taking candy from a baby. That's what happens when you're all talk. Your new NXT champion, James Fatal. And the champion comes up big here tonight. That wasn't just a win. That was a win over what many consider the most dominant champions in all of WWE. <laughs> Baron is so happy. He's so happy. Look at this. Nice. Seriously, that's it. Super nice. Like pulling teeth, man. What are you grousing for? You did it. You, sir, are a born champion.
I am the master of all worlds. I crushed it. There you go. All those worlds are yours. Yep. Check in with Matt before you run off. Once a, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, Albert wants to talk to me. I'm not surprised. Don't look out for the little guy until he's the big guy, huh? Okay. Let's see what's going on down here, Albert. But don't stance up. You, you, I saw you stance up. I didn't know what you think was going to happen. I'm just running. Hey, kid. Kid, you floored everyone at that. I knew you had it in you right from the start. Well, why didn't you talk to me last week? See, this is what I wanted. Bet on that fact that you, this very instant, are on the fast track to success. Like, keep putting on great matches like that. Keep making all the right decisions, working your fights and the audience over. You might find yourself main and winning WrestleMania one day. Oh, I know. That's like the dream for everyone. You might do it too. Uh-huh. Not sure that odd producer helped. What, him? Nah, he's great. Meticulous and passionate in his own way. Does things at, like, his own pace. He's been very supportive, even if you've never directly noticed. Listen, gotta take off. Great job, kid. You wrecked it. So proud of you. This dude's still stands up behind us. What are you doing back there, man? You're, you're scaring me. You're scaring me, man. Get away from me! <laughs> oh, my. Is anyone in the parking lot back here? Oh, hey, it's you! Still in that same spot, I see. You don't move very often. Good luck. I just... You know what? Bye. I think you're one of those Stephanie McMahon robots we talked about in the first episode. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know what's wrong with you. Alright, pull my car around. Make sure you, you tuck in my NXT Championship. Buckle it in real nice. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed. Remember, if you did, to leave that thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. Looking at your new NXT Champion, baby. Have a good one. See you!